invited by my friends uh, Namada and Hans uh, to go and participate for the Harmony Run in Rome. So, and I was really honored to be there, to be among the people. Actually, the problem came for Kenya is uh, due to the elections, uh, whereby all the Kenyan citizens wanted a change. And then when they did not meet their, uh, their calls, so people erupt and uh, start to fight one another. And it took a lot of time and many people, um, many people uh, lost their lives. And Kenya, Kenya country itself has been known a country of peace. For me, it was a difficult thing to see. So when Kobe Annan came to settle the situation, actually me as a Kenyan citizen and also I've given a role by our own government as an athlete ambassador for peace. So I was among the, the people uh, also together with Kobe Annan uh, to talk about peace. And uh, uh, most of our people, they understand the role that I've been doing, uh, especially the uh, organized the peace races uh, uh, since 2003. We are going to continue about the peace races, uh, not only in Kenya, but we are going to have one in Uganda. And in the next future, we are thinking of going to uh, Sudan and Somalia. So when I have uh, friends who support me, so I just want to continue and make other people join the relay. Mm -hmm. All over, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it helped a little bit, and I can yeah, see that it, uh, after the COVID and none left, so I, it has, uh, it has been a lot of changes, but it takes time. You have to understand that there, there are so many people who are being displaced and, uh, and they really don't know what will happen in the next future. But let's hope that the, when the government agree to share their powers, as they said, I think they will, they will make a difference for the people. But the poor people always have a lot of problems because people, that's, I can say the government doesn't see them uh, well. They have to continue with life and those who are behind the struggle. Well, it's always uh, good to come and see uh, friends. And I've been also training here in Switzerland in Davos, and I have a lot of uh, relation. And uh, as um, as I built the school, also there, I have a lot of relation with the uh, Swiss kids. And it's always good to be here. And I can see our friend who is uh, working for this. Uh, 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 hospital in Kenya as uh, Stephen. So for somebody from Switzerland to come and help our people, for me also it's it's kind of a relationship that we have all together. Well my message to the children is to tell them that uh, I'm really encouraged and I'm looking forward to see uh, to visit them and to see also what they have been doing since the last time I saw them uh, uh, academically and also a uh, sports uh, sports side. Mm -hmm. And also, um, I just want to tell them that the school has not finished due to our problem that we had last year in, in Kenya. So the constructors, people had to leave, but things are going on and uh, soon the kids will be there to, to send also their love to, uh, to the Swiss kids. If everything goes well, it's probably 2000 and 2009 will be our first intake. In 1999, I met uh, Siti Moy in New York uh, when I was uh, going to be given a Pekila Award. So he was the one who gave me the award. And uh, we had a moment to talk together and he told me uh, that he has seen or he, have, he felt something in me that, that needs to be uh, uh, spoken out. That he, he told me that I think you have a spiritual... Uh, um, lead a spiritual thing in your, in your heart, and that's for peace. By then I was not thinking of doing a, a peace, a peace races, so it gave me a lot of encouragement. So there was a gift that I did not uh, want to expose. And some few years later, I met him again, I met Timo again in, uh, uh, in his uh, school where I went, and he lifted me up. So it gave me a lot of encouragement. And I'm really happy for what he did to the people and also to, to, to his students uh, to carry the, especially the peace, uh, peace harmony uh, around, uh, which it's not going to die, but continue uh, to light all over the world. And especially the world for today, whereby there is so much uh, conflict all over. So we need uh, 
such as spiritual people uh, among us. I was given an award uh, in, in 2000, it was 2005, probably, yeah, together with uh, Rogers Federer uh, uh, in New York as a athlete ambassador for, for UN. Uh, for me, I can say it came because when I started 2003 peace races in Kenya, we I changed a lot of uh, a lot of uh, lives of people, and therefore the it was something that I was given that uh, Kobe Annan uh, saw the need that the uh, sports people uh, brings people together, and that's why that he decided him with other uh, top officials in the UN that. Uh, I should be given this award uh, to represent uh, in the uh, Africa continent. My message actually today is to tell the people, let us not be selfish, whereby to, to, to think high, highly of yourself. And that's why it is, there is so much uh, conflict, there is so much war, because the leaders in the world nowadays, they think that they can rule all over the world and they, are, they don't care that they are destroying environment as well as the uh, 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 human being. So that's why people are fighting. So I would like to tell them, we need to love one another and have uh, peace and harmony and share what we have.